All right, friends, subscribers, and internet strangers. What is up? Bearded Picker here. Got a question for you. So you want to be a reseller. Beard, what does it take to be a reseller? This is a good example of some of the things you need to understand and learn. It's not just about where to sell it, what to buy. Have you thought about how to sell it? <laughs> All right, so Beard, what the hell are you talking about, dude? Get to the point. I'm glad you asked. All right, so uh, I had an estate sale. This will be in a video at some point uh, coming up. Where'd you buy this? It was $45. Well, what is it, Beard? So it is a Ninja Pro System 1100. It's got this nice little fancy gizmo here. And then it's got this other one here, and it's... Uh, hell, I don't know how to get the lid off of it. And inside that one, you can see there's more... There's two extra paddles in there. Alright, Beard. So I'm trying a new camera, so tell me what you think about it. Uh, <laughs> this is actually a yard sale camera. Pick this up. This is a Sony. Picked it up, I guess, a... So about this time last year, maybe a year and a half ago, and I've used it for exactly one video. <laughs> so, we're trying it out and see if I need to keep it or if I need to sell it. Alright, so, so so what's confusing, Beard? You throw up a ninja and you're done with it. $45. Did I mention it was half price day? $22.50. Alright, $22.50. How about the big picture there? I'm going to show you some comps on the big picture right now. Coming up, coming up, coming up. I'm going to show you some comps on the little one. Coming up, coming up, coming up. I'm going to show you some comps on the base. And then the extra little paddle things there. So where do you make the most money? Sorry, they have to keep flipping the screen around to see what in the hell I'm recording. <laughs> so where do you make the most money at? Do you just throw it all up there? Because I'll give you a price for just the pictures. I mean, just for the whole thing. It's like $69. The big picture goes for 40 ish So, so what do you do? Do you throw it all together and just take your... There's no right or wrong answer. So that's, that's another point I'm here to make. Is there's no right or wrong answer. There's only your answer. And you have to be comfortable with your answer. Because your answer and my answer might not be the same. If you look down the down the wall of shame here, sorry, these are all going to Amazon. Um, right there, there's another one. So you think I, my decision is made, right? If I have a picture from another one sitting there, these are probably going to be parted out. So do you want to take the easy way out and make your money and move on? It's not a bad idea. Or do you make four listings and make max money, set it over on the shelf, uh... <laughs> in an inventory box that's what I meant to say we're working on that right now we're redoing the eBay store we're getting inventory you can see the 03 and 01 there where 02 is it's on the other side it's got movies in it <laughs> yes movies do sell on eBay so that's you have to understand how can I make the most money how can I sell it and make good money should I have even have bought it? Because a lot of people would have looked at it and gone, well, twenty two fifty. by the time I put heavy shipping on it, maybe not be worth my time. But I would tell you, that's Phoebe, by the way. Yo, crackhead, hush! She is such full of attitude. You would not think that all that noise comes from that little itty bitty dachshund right there. <laughs> okay, so I digress. And it's, you have to be comfortable too, because if you'll watch others and others might tell you, but why did you do that? Because that's that's my model. That's the way I feel like I should do it. That's where, you know, someone who has a lot of stuff like me, maybe I should be smarter and go, let's just sell it and move on. And the other thing, this one is in such nice condition. Um, where? Is it better on eBay or Amazon? I've showed you eBay prices. 
let's look at Amazon prices and see what the picture is, at what the what it is on Amazon, and the competition and the rank, and see if that's any good. All right, here it comes. All right, so there's the Amazon listing. You can see there's a couple issues with it. Nobody's got any for sale, and it says with a free cookbook. I can give them a cookbook, but it's probably not the right one. So you need to understand what comes in the listing, um, and then you also need to know how to research prices to figure out where this thing last sold and what it's worth because there are lots of different listings for all the little individual pieces the blades and stuff on Amazon so where are you gonna sell it, it makes a big difference in the amount of money you will make and you know and how long you'll have it Amazon not having any in stock is not a bad thing that just means you'll be only one and you need to learn how to price high enough to where people will buy it but not low enough where you're giving away it's a delicate balance so I hope this has just shown you there's some complexity to sell it online. You know, people just say, well, just stick it online. Just just sell it. Just throw it on eBay. Yeah, if it was only that easy. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. More tips and tricks on how to sell online. And hey, maybe the next next one is five things you need to know before you start. All right. Roll Tide.